proceed from the top of the pole, the 46th story from the gateless gate, from the book Zen Flesh, Zen Bones, written by Paul Reps. How can you proceed on from the top of a 100 foot pole? <laughs> from there is the flight. That doesn't mean you got disconnected from your, from the route. A pigeon was donated from China to UK, United Kingdom. And after it was there for some days, the pigeon was left to be around, but the pigeon took a flight and for, they were shocked. The pigeon landed up in China, 30,000 kilometers traveling 50 countries. It reached the base. You, you don't worry about if you're conscious, if you're in deep and low, from the top of the pole, from the tree, you can leave both the hands and both the legs and you can still move. One who sits on the top of the 100 foot pole has attained a certain height, but still is not handling. If you're not handling, you're unconscious, you're deceased. You're clinging to somebody. The fear whether something will go wrong, nothing will go wrong. <coughs> He should proceed on from there and appear with his whole body in the ten parts. There is the time you got your freedom, freedom, freedom. That freedom you should utilize it. I was traveling from one city to another with a monkey. And then I reached the city, I used to make the monkey dance and play in the market area. And people claps. I'll go with the towel and people give me money. One day after we reached a, a small village. I was very tired. I went to sleep. And suddenly I could hear a sound coming from the neighborhood. It was a huge big compound. And inside the compound was the sound coming. Freedom, freedom, freedom. I got up. I was so happy. All these years I left my home, I left my friends, I left my martial arts, I left my everything. I just wanted to give somebody a freedom. <laughs> I wanted somebody to know that they are conscious, somebody to know the truth. Before I would die, I would leave this place. And then I would hear somebody screaming. A lot of monkeys were around me, but nobody was conscious. Everybody was wanting this belt, that belt, this one, that one. And going time, the Guru Dakshina was spitting on my face, <laughs> backstabbing, talking bad. <laughs> that was the culture. I slowly climbed the wall and I could hear the sound coming very powerfully. Freedom, freedom, freedom. I jumped the wall. I ran towards the place. It was a beautiful mansion. And in front of the mansion, there was a golden system and inside the system was a person sitting inside and screaming freedom 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 i went very close to that it was a golden cage and inside the cage was a parrot sitting and, and freedom 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 i went and opened the cage and the scream went double the time freedom 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 i just opened the cage and said please come out and it was clinging to the side of the wall side of the cage and screaming freedom 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 i forcefully put my hand inside caught the Parrot brought it outside and said, go fly, it is your freedom. Now I can live this world, I am the hap happiest man. <laughs> I came back, I was sleeping and then I heard another sound <laughs> and I ran, I climbed the wall, the sound was coming from the same direction. I thought maybe another one more person is asking for freedom, thinking I am going to save them. <laughs> I ran towards the mansion and in the golden cage, I saw the same person, the same parrot which I caught and gave them freedom, was sitting inside, holding on to the side of the cage and screaming, freedom, freedom, freedom. Are you that tip, uh, parrot? Come out of that slavery. Together we can wipe out more tears and bring down hunger. That is all the diseases, all the intelligence and the happiness. Everything what you take, take it with love and affection, whether it's good or bad. <laughs>